Hey ho! So today I'm going to show you all the different ways you can sit down at camp from sit mats to stools to camp chairs and I'm going to go through my favourite and exactly why it is my favourite and that being the A-Light Monarch chair. So what I'll do is I'll show you the different things I've got going on here and I will set them all up and show you exactly how they all work and how easy they are to deal with. And I'll give you a little bit of advice on what you might need for your wild camping adventures. <sighs> Firstly, I'm going to talk about camp mats. Now there's millions of camp mats out there, all ranging in price. This to me is the best and most simple way of um, using a camp mat. And this is an ex-army one. It used to be a sleeping mat and I've cut it down and I've left four sections. This folds away very small and it slots in your backpack and you don't even notice it's there. If you just needed a seat, then you would only need one of those sections because that is big enough to sit your bum on and keep your bum dry if you sat on a cold rock or, um, or the wet ground. I've kept this in four sections because what I've also done is I've made this a bit on top of there and that's for the dog to sleep on. So I can use this or that as an actual sit mat. This I made from an old army Gore-Tex food bag and all I've done is I've got eight layers of foil insulation um, inside it and I've stitched it all together, hemmed it all around and I've just put a couple of tags so I can actually pin it to the ground so it doesn't blow away and the, the dog doesn't move it around in the night and obviously that keeps the dog um, nice and toasty. What I generally have is this one is in the doorway of my tent uh, which allows me to kneel on it as I'm getting in and out. So that is camping mats. You can buy all sorts of mats and they cost quite a lot of money, some of them. Um, you don't really need it, as I say, that is cheap and cheerful. This is a cheap sit mat. These cost about three quid and you can get from most outdoor stores. That is big enough just to pack your bum on, a bit of insulation to keep your bum warm and obviously it's gonna keep your bum dry. You can slot into your backpack pretty much anywhere. So they're pretty good. So stools are next up. Now this perfect stool specimen here is what I actually made. So look at this baby. I made that about 20 years ago and it's still going strong. This is the Van Gogh Sky Tall Stool. This is an awesome bit of kit. It's not that heavy, you can get lighter ones. The Robins do like a three leg, nice and light one, I think, for about 15 quid. I actually got this for seven quid. That's like nothing, but it was reduced from 20 odds. And it's well comfy to sit on, perfect for if you're cooking, you can just have your stove and everything in front of you. And it's very strong, considering it's only lightweight. I don't know what it actually weighs, but it's not much. And the pack size, I mean, that will fit in your backpack pretty much anywhere. So it's a, definitely a good one to have. I like stools because they're good for sitting on when you're cooking. Stools. But look at how simple that is. Open it up and the strength of this is unbelievable. To say it's a little thing, I mean, you can really um, put your weight into that. Look, they're well strong. Take your full weight. Stools are brilliant, but you cannot lay back and relax and just watch the sunset with a beer. So this does not fit to be my favourite camp seat. So we'll get rid of that one. Next up, hammocks. And um, this is the Thermo Rest Solo Hammock. And this cost me about 15 quid, but I think it was half price. I'm very good at picking up a bargain. Lightweight, that pack's pretty small, hardly anything to that at all. 
must have six different types of hammocks. DD hammocks, I've got loads of different ones of those. Um, and I, do you know what? I love a hammock. Um, you can sit on this, sleep on this, have your afternoon snooze. You can sit two people on it. You can chill out, have your lunch, whatever. The only thing you need, two trees. So that's the problem with it. Now, it's absolutely fantastic for you doing any woodland adventure. But if you are while camping, and nine times out of 10, you're gonna be above the tree line um, up on a mountain. So the problem is with this, it's absolutely useless. So as far as my favorite chair to take camping, this is not gonna hit it either. Next up, this is the Thermarest Trekker chair. Now this is an awesome piece of kit. Super comfortable. You can actually adjust this so you can sit more upright. So if you wanna sort of sit, and do your cooking in front of you. You can sit nice and upright with that. You can also drop it right back. Ah, and loads of adjustment. So if you were just chilling out with your beer, you could totally relax back and enjoy the sunset. The best thing about this is that you can use it on uneven ground. So you can sit it anywhere. Um, you don't need to worry about having a perfectly flat surface. Also, you can use this in your tent. I often get a bad back because I'm in my tent and I'm crouched over because the height of my tent only just is about my head height. You know, to eradicate that, you can just lay back and then um, actually enjoy this within your tent. Also, you can fold that section out as well. So it's totally insulating you off the ground. So if you sat outside on cold ground, then you've got full layer of insulation, which is an absolute bonus, especially on cold nights. It's great because when you uh, come to bedtime and you need to go to sleep, all you do, fold it out, unclip, unclip, lays flat, oh, and then you're ready for bed. You can also fold it into three, which is fantastic because then it just turns into almost a stool. So obviously not quite as high as, although this is only a thin mat. Nowadays, a lot of the mats are a bit thicker and still lightweight. The comfort of that, I'm gonna to have to get it out and have another go, and the fact that it fits in your tent, absolutely brilliant. So currently my mat of choice that I sleep on is the uh, Thermarest Neo Air, because it's well comfortable. Um, and all, it's actually bigger than this one as well. This is a 20 inch wide, mine's a 25 inch wide, so it's just a lot comfier, a lot more space on it, and I really, really like it. The problem is, I don't have one of these Trekker chairs to use with my other mat. I wonder though, I might actually have to have a look and see if we can get one to fit it, because it is fantastic. So that is the Thermarest Trekker chair. Hmm, I'm quite liking that. Anyway, we're gonna move on because that is not my favorite. So now we come to camp chairs. Now these are made by the same company called A-Lite. It is the, the A-Lite Monarch chair and the A-Lite Mayfly, 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 Mayfly chair. They're very, very similar, but there is differences between them. And this one is my favorite and I'll show you why. So the A-Lite, so the A-Lite Mayfair chair, the A, starting with then the Mayfly chair. So, this in real time, I'll show you how fast it is to set up. It comes in a nice bag, and all you do is roll it out. And you've got a section of uh, poles, and then these poles just put together very easily, and straight away you can see we've made a, a frame. There's this extra section of pole here as well, which adds stability for the front. If I just set that up, and then simply a shaped piece of material, it's colour coordinated, so you just you know exactly which bit goes where. Yep. And then you click that on. Oops. Look how easy it is, it's really easy. It's made obviously to be quite taut, but there we go, that's one chair, done. It's really, really lightweight. I think it weighs 
Oh, I'm gonna guess at 759 grams. Damn it. So this, it balances on this pit, so you can actually reuse it as a rocker and rock back. Two rubber feet there, and then a rubber section at the front. Uh, but watch how comfy this is. This one, sit down, park your bum in, and then you can just rock back on it. Absolutely brilliant chair, super comfortable. I keep saying super, really awesomely comfortable. So it's very well made, absolutely solid, and super lightweight. And the fact that you can rock back is just brilliant. Sit back with a beer, perfect, on top of a mountain. The only issue is, when you sit down, for me, it's really, really close to your butt there. So if you're on soft ground, you can't actually end up having your bum touching the actual floor. That's like rubbish design, I think. You just want it to be an extra inch up, really. The good thing is, though, with this front support, you can actually use it as a stool as well and just have your cooking in front of you. And obviously, you can sit back and just got a bit of back support. I'm fairly slim and it fits me really well. So I don't know how, how good it would be um, if you were bigger than what I am. I think, main thing for anything, go to the shop and just try it out. So once you sat down, you can just bring your knees in and then you can lean back. And then you've just got control of the angle you want to sit at and how far back you can lay back you want to relax. But I need it for drinking a beer on the top of a mountain, but I also need to cook with it as well. You can actually take this piece of metal off and just use it as a little rocker, um, which is also um, quite a comfortable way of sitting. And obviously it lightens your pack weight as well if you're doing that. So not a bad shout, but then that moves me on to this one, the A-Lite Monarch Chair. So this one, exactly the same again. Nice little bag with it, roll it out. Now this time, once it's all together, you notice there is not the front extra piece of metal. And that's it. A few seconds, and we've got another chair. It's exactly the same sort of comfort. The difference is, you're a lot higher off the ground. You're just using your legs to uh, balance yourself. And again, if you're sat here with your beer on top of a mountain, absolutely fantastic. If you sit forward on this, obviously we don't have the bar now, and it ends up you sitting on the floor. You can still use this for cooking, and it's actually quite nice because you've actually got a back support here. Problem with both these chairs is, if you're not on even ground, they actually do fall over quite easily. So you have to be quite careful with that, um, which means actually, I think that Thermarest Trekker chair, hmm, that might be my favorite. Maybe I've got two favourites here, because I do love this, it's super comfy. This one weighs, I think, 580 grams. Which is pretty lightweight for a decent chair that's comfortable. This is a brilliant piece of design, and this one, obviously, is exactly the same thing, just with that extra bit of the front, with the issue that you nearly sat on the floor when you're on it. But given the choice, I'd go with this because I spend most of my time just sitting back and rocking anyway. I got this Mayfly chair for half price at £42.50. And this one I got for half price and I paid £29.50. So both, I think, are quite a bargain at that, at half price. Full price, I'm not so sure. Hmm, now I'm questioning it. This was my favourite. And I'm actually thinking this Trekker chair works better in all round situations. The fact that you can use it in your tent, it's insulated when you sat on it, you can lay this out so you can actually have full length under your legs, so you can sit outside in the cold and still have insulation beneath you. Whereas this, when you sat against this and you're compressing your down jacket and your trousers, with any airflow around the back, it is actually pretty cold to sit on. Great for summer though, maybe that's the best one for summer. I'm going to go see if I can buy a new version of this for my Neo Air and I think that will then become my favourite chair. It's nice to have choice but you can see straight away that different chairs suit different scenarios and obviously each chair will be very very individual to you. 
So some people might absolutely hate this, some people might love it. I am definitely fond of this one, but I'm actually going to reject this now. That is not my favourite chair. I am going with the Trekker chair. Comfy, can sit up on it, nice and upright. It's almost like a stool and you can lay back and use it in your tent. So please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done already, which is 99.9999999 reoccurring of the population. It's going to be tons of footage come out from me. That's not, that's not true. There's not going to be tons. I'm going to try once a week, put a decent video out of one of my adventures. And what I'll do is as well, I'm going to put the what three words location on any really good camp spots. If the rubbish, I won't be putting it out there, okay? Anyway, it just give you guys a bit of a heads up on places to actually stay and then for when you are going out. So you never know, might meet up on the top of a mountain. If you see me ever, please say hi and uh, I'll be happy to have a chat. So it's time for me to go make myself a cup of tea. Alrighty-o, see thee.